Democrats getting another huge wake-up call on their march to the radical left. Moderate Dem Senator Joe Manchin ready to ditch his party and become an independent. I think the, the business of politics, Hoppy, has gotten so, so absolutely toxic. I'm thinking seriously, what's the best? For me, I have to have peace of mind, basically. The brand has become so bad. The D brand and R brand, you've heard me say a million times, I'm not a Washington Democrat. And as Joe Manchin talks about the Democratic Party brand becoming toxic, here's the latest example of the party's intolerance. Liberals are going into a rage at Woody Harrelson after the actor wore an RFK junior presidential hat. Uh, Brian, um, they're very afraid of RFK. I mean, he's not going to win, but it's something about him that is annoying this party. What it's hard to dismiss a guy whose his name is Robert F. Kennedy Jr., mm -hmm. who was, I think, 13 years old when his dad was assassinated and stood right there. So you can't dismiss him and say he's some fringe Kennedy. Number two is, uh, number two is Joe Rogan also. Really impressed with RFK Jr., who's got tremendous street cred. Joe Rogan, and, the, the big Democrat, Joe Rogan. Well, he voted for Bernie Sanders. Uh, so, <laughs> but he's all over the place. I mean, the guy that was said I'd never vote for Donald Trump now says I'll, I'll probably interview him. So Joe Rogan's power can't be underestimated. And then with Woody Harrelson's situation, that's one of the most likable guys you'll ever meet. Mm -hmm. Number two is he already shocked people with the SNL monologue. And number three is, why can't he make his own decisions? We're past cancel culture. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. we've turned the page. You're not going to cancel people because of who they support. I'm telling you, we, America has moved on. And, uh, and good luck with trying to marginalize that guy. That guy can act, uh, Woody Harrelson. Jessica, but to Brian's point, why is the party so dismissive of people that agree with you all on 90% of the things, but feel like there needs to be a different direction. I mean, it's kind of like the same for black men. Like, typically used to be the base with Democrats, and they're saying, look, you're not caring about issues that matter to us. It's like, oh, no, 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 we still got the black women. What is it about that? Or Joe Rogan, he's really not a Democrat. He's a socialist Democrat. It's like he agrees with you guys on 80% of the thing. Why not try to retain those voters? I want every possible vote that's available. We'll take anybody. And that's what happened in 2020. There were a lot of tr people who voted for Donald Trump who came over and voted for Joe Biden. Welcome you with open arms. And I hope that RFK Jr. supports Joe Biden, whose name is going to be on that ballot, and that Joe Rogan makes a good choice and also votes for Joe Biden there. What I'm saying about RFK when I raise, like you're going on Joe Rogan's show, is that RFK Jr., is not running the campaign of a man who's serious about winning the Democratic nomination. He's serious about getting a lot of clicks, a lot of press hits, but he's hanging out with people who do not speak to the Democratic base and doing interviews with them. He's talking about issues that are certainly important but are not top of the list for us. I think the border is extremely important, but when you look at the priorities for Democratic voters, the economy, talking about the Dobbs ruling, climate change, and he's filming himself down in Arizona, that's not going to get it done for us. Also, he doesn't agree with 90% of our platform. What's gone on with him over decades of being anti-vax that has caused his family an incredible amount of hurt and discomfort and difficulty that they've had to come out against him time after time after time. Uh, and Woody Harrell he said... He was right on COVID, a no, lot of it. Yeah, no, he no, was. he Absolutely. wasn't. He said he that more people right. died from just, the vaccine you know, from the disease. He says he can't get on CNN and, and MSNBC. I, they said they have no interest in interviewing. They probably had rules about it that, for instance, he would get fact-checked. Like, if he brought up, for instance, that there's water that turns uh, kids trans because of some, some study with frogs um, or whatever other kooky thing he has. And we've had a lot of people on our network. Byron York has said it's complete crackpot in terms of these beliefs. It's really a betrayal of the Kennedy brand. And I think when he hangs out at 14, 15 percent. He's per the problem with the Kennedy brand. Um, but, but what about Ted Kennedy? Of the Camelot brand of it, which is what he's trying to do. And also Woody Harrelson, I'm sure, is great friends with Cheryl Hines. I wish I was friends with Cheryl Hines. She, but it doesn't mean know, that RFK Jr. would be a good president. J Joe Manchin tried to appeal to the Democratic base that Jessica <laughs> talks about. And now yes, he's getting ready to he lose his seat. Yeah, so he's trying to distance himself from the Democratic brand, saying that it's toxic, and many, many parts of it are very toxic. But this is actually about Joe Manchin's brand when he yeah. plays with becoming a Republican. In West Virginia, he's about to lose his Senate seat. Jim Justice, a very popular Republican governor, has a 64 percent approval rating there. Joe Manchin's approval is only at 40 percent, and his disapproval 
is at 53%. And why is he unpopular? Because he voted for the almost $1 trillion Inflation Reduction Act, which at the time it was passed, we knew was a handout to these green climate change projects, which are completely corrupt and not actually environmentally friendly. And now the president is finally admitting that, yeah, we actually named that in a fraudulent fashion. We called it the Inflation Reduction Act because Americans are suffering with inflation. But now... We're trying to appeal to our climate change base for an election. So therefore, we're going to go back and actually tell people what's in the bill and that it's actually a climate change green handout corruption bill. And so that's why Joe Manchin is saying, yeah, maybe I'll toy with this whole Republican uh, thing because he's about I to lose his race. I think he might run for president at no labels. And because he might have or a that choice. Too, but he's also running. Scam. If he runs, it's because he's losing his Senate Let me get seat. the judge in. Judge, if he runs third party, is this good for the Republicans or no? Well, I don't know who it's good for, to be honest with you. I mean, Manchin has kind of danced uh, and straddled the fence a lot. You know, the crazy part of it is, you know, they're celebrating the one-year anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act, and he's not going to the celebration when he actually signed the bill. I mean, uh, supported the bill. He got the uh, pen. And I think he Biden thought, gave him the pen, remember? Yeah. Well, okay. And then, <laughs> you know, is he ready to ditch the party? No. He says he's ready to ditch. He, the, the party is ditching him. OK, because Jim Justice is going to win. There's no question about he's losing. So what viability does he have? The only viability he has is to run as a third party, no labels candidate. OK, let's talk about the Dems. I am so sick and tired of the haters. They are haters. All they do is they hate you. They began the unfriending of you. Anything you do, they hate. They want to censor you. I've never seen a party like that. And let me say something about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I know him. I was a DA when he ran the uh, environmental program in Westchester. He was respected. I respected him. He was very serious about what he was doing. A lot of his family is vaxxed. There are certain vaccinations he's not in support of. And it's too bad if the rest of the Kennedys feel bad about him. The bottom line is he's doing whatever he can. And when he takes that video at the border and talks about what is going on, he's doing more than Joe Biden is. And Joe Biden was in, in where, where was he? New Mexico this week for two days. He couldn't go to the border. Kamala is so ditzy. She doesn't even know her job is supposed to be overseeing the border. So let's get straight about this. The Democrats are intolerant of anyone who doesn't toe the Joe Biden corruption line. But and that's the, all I have to say about but it. But on the other side, Donald Trump had go. no primary. The RNC didn't support it. There were no debates. Hey, What's this got to do with a primary? Please don't well, unfriend me. I don't even have social media. Yeah, don't do she that. doesn't follow right, you anyway. Gotta go. I, because Ahead. I'm not on. I... Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.